Understanding formal writing, the role of tone, vocabulary, and structure. Hello, learners. Today, we're going to dive into an essential aspect of English language learning. We're focusing on formal writing style, and more specifically, the importance of tone, vocabulary, and structure in formal writing. These elements are key to ensuring your written communication is clear, concise, and appropriate for a professional or academic setting. When we talk about tone in writing, we're referring to the attitude or approach that the writer takes towards the topic or the reader. In formal writing, the tone should be objective, clear, and respectful. You should avoid using slang, colloquial expressions, and emotional language. For example, instead of writing, I totally believe that global warming is a serious problem, a more formal tone would be, it is evident that global warming presents a significant issue. Notice the difference? In formal writing, the words you choose, or your vocabulary, can make a big difference. Formal writing generally employs more complex or specific vocabulary compared to informal writing. You should aim for precision and clarity in your choice of words. For instance, instead of saying, kids, in a formal setting, you would use the term, children. Also, contractions like, can't, or, won't, should be written in their full form, i.e., cannot, and, will not. Last, but definitely not least, is structure. A well-structured piece of formal writing typically includes an introduction, a body where you elaborate on your points, and a conclusion to summarize your key points or to provide a closing argument. Remember to use complete sentences, proper paragraphing, and logical transitions between thoughts and ideas. Bullet points or numbering can be useful for lists, but they shouldn't replace well-structured paragraphs. And that wraps up our discussion on the importance of tone, vocabulary, and structure in formal writing. Incorporating these aspects will make your writing more professional and effective, whether you're drafting a business letter, an academic paper, or even a formal email. Keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Thank you for joining today's lesson. Keep exploring, keep learning, and as always, don't hesitate to revisit this video for a refresher. See you in our next lesson.